welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below so let's see what are the backup types we have and how we can take the backup and how to restore the backup so let's understand here so first of all in backup we have three modes one is a stop mode another is in a suspend mode another is in a snapshot mode let's see what the what is snap mode do this mode provides the highest consistency of the backup at the cost of a short downtime in the VM operation consistency is guaranteed by using the live backup feature so what the snap mode uh, snaps uh, the stop mode is do here is that basically you have to shut down the virtual machine and uh, put it the stop mode and take the backup so what happens is that whenever you uh, example you have the MSSQL or the Oracle or any like the databases applications hosted on that particular virtual machine sometimes the freezing the file system does not give you the consistency on that particular uh, backup so what happens whenever you want to restore it back so it does not bring up the instances like the databases instances uh, so that what you have to do is that um, once in a while example a, a six months once or the one year once or the quarterly once uh, you have to shut down that uh, backup application sorry the database application or whatever it is then take the backup so what uh, what you have is that consistent backup you have you can restore that point any any time so that is the stop mode but this requires the downtime example if you have a larger vms example uh, the consistent uh, example the vm is having larger file system like one terabyte two terabytes or more than that then which requires the longer downtime to do this operation vm backup in the stop mode so that's actually maybe it takes a one hour time maybe a 24 hours or maybe a two days based on your backup capacity and the backup performance suspend mode this mode is actually provides the compatibility compatibility reason and suspend the vm before calling the snapshot so what it will do is that it will just suspend the vm and take the snapshot of that virtual machine then convert that snapshot into the backup so this is actually a less downtime maybe a few minutes based on the data size of the virtual machine uh, it's not more than few minutes because it just only suspend the virtual machine and it's again bring back that virtual machine so there is a little downtime or the little um, discrepancy on the backup while doing the suspend mode so there is a one more mode called snapshot mode this mode provides the lowest operation downtime at the cost of small inconsistency risk so what snapshot mode it will do is that it does not actually stop the virtual machine so what it will do is that it will just freeze the file system a few seconds then it will take the snapshot of that uh, uh, data and convert that snapshot into the backup so that's it will do but it 
using the snapshot mode most of the times the containers or the virtual machine does not require any downtime so even user does not notice the freeze the file freeze and the unfreeze uh, uh, commands so it just a few seconds or a few milliseconds uh, uh, it will be so let's see uh, how we can take the snapshot as how we can back up the virtual machine and re restore it back on the console here I'm in the console so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this virtual machines backup and store it on the shared path so I have already mounted the NFS which is the data which is the data is the disk name so you can just select that path and say which virtual machine you want or you want all the virtual machines or whatever you want you can select it here so in this case I am going to select a 102 virtual machine here and say I am selecting this backup mode is snapshot because I don't want to shut down the virtual machine so it takes the virtual machine backup online and uh, when you want the email to be sent so when there is a failure on the VM uh, backup it should send the virtual machine status or the backup status info to the this email address admin at arkid.co.in and say it should run at Sunday 1 a.m. one hour so let's say schedule it and the retention what is the retention you would like to keep here I say I should keep the uh, last two backup sets I want only two that should be fine for me now schedule is created you can see that the schedule is here so I don't want to wait until the Sunday so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select this uh, um, job and say run now and say yes so it runs the backup job right away and you can see the backup job is going to complete in a few minutes and you can see the backup job might complete now so you can see the backup job is completed successfully if you go back to the uh, tasks and see that if you go back to the tasks and see that okay so it which actually creates the widget dump for uh, the particular snapshot and it dumps the data to the uh, backup location and clears the dump file then the backup would be completed on the virtual machine okay now let's go ahead and log into the NAS so where actually I have uh, uh, sh shared the NFS share and mounted over there and go back to the dump folder and see whether the file is exist or there or not here okay just go to the dump and say ls you can see that so there is a widget dump log file and widget dump uh, dot jst is the file name you can see if you log uh, verify the logs so actually the backup is completed or not you can see that the backup of the vm102 has been completed successfully so what i'm going to do it right now is that i'm just going to shut down this virtual machine and delete it from the data store so it i just destroy the virtual machine and restore it back from the backup so i'm just going to do the shutdown of that virtual machine so shutdown is executed the virtual machine is going down see the virtual machine is down and in the right side top corner you can click on the more and say remove and I say the VM ID number and destroy the virtual machine and do not store any of those associated disks and anything so delete everything so now you can see the virtual machine is gone so you cannot able to see any virtual machine over here so what I'm going to do I'm going to restore this virtual machine from the latest backup then I will bring up the virtual machine and see whether uh, all the data is consistent and I could able to browse through all the data or not so in that case what I have to you have to do is that you have to go to the particular data store and find the file name and say restore here and provide the VM ID after restore which you want uh, have the VM ID so it's the same virtual machine ID I would like to have and the path to store where you want to restore the data so I want to restore to the LVM data store which is the local data store on the 
Proxmax and say restore. Now it takes a few minutes or the few hours based on your data size or the virtual machine size. So let's be patient until the task should be completed. You can see now my virtual machine backup is almost uh, nearby to complete and you can see the my task is okay and the database dump and the backup is created fine and let's see my VM uh, is on uh, let's start the virtual machine and see how it actually for farming so what I did is I just click on the virtual machine and start the virtual machine and after that open the open the console of that virtual machine and see whether uh, run few commands and see the data is there or not you can see now virtual machine is up and running and log into the virtual machine as yes, it successfully logged in and you can see that ls so the data is present so whatever the data is there on the virtual machine is present and you can see the content also exists. for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications